Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today in the beautiful state of Wisconsin, I'm with Steen, Steen Traxler. So Steen, you and your brother Stark, who's helped put this car and restore it back together, and he's been on the channel as well. Um, what kind of car do we have here today? We have a 1978 Buick Regal Turbo Sport Coupe. Turbo Sport Coupe. Yes, limited. Limited. Now, how many? Let's come right over to the side here. Right. How many of these do you see? Do you see any turbo coupes? You, you actually do. So, Buick made, I believe, over 20 some thousand of these cars. Um, and, you know, every year after that, they, this 78 was the first year for them. And then turbo cars from there on out for, the, for Buick that were pretty popular. That was a you know, they expanded it to the Riviera line, the Sabre, Century, uh, but this, the 78 was the first year for these. So this is obviously well before the Grand National. Yes. But this was the start of the, let's throw some turbos and yes. get rid of the big V8s. Correct, correct. Which was a little unique because Americans at the time, they really loved their V8s. Oh, absolutely. Now, how difficult is it to clean those wheels? I mean, that looks like a nightmare. Well, I didn't have to clean those because I bought an NOS set. <laughs> <laughs> because I didn't want to clean the other save, ones. Save the time. <laughs> and, and, and I'm just con confirming, yes, just one exhaust on one side, which is right there. Now, you know, these were always, I thought, a very good looking car. Oh, beautiful, yeah. I, I, when I was a teenager, uh, I owned a, I owned an 81, uh, probably back in 1983, and just, yeah, I've always loved these cars. You know, they had just kind of the right blends of 70s, but done well. Yep. You know, even yep. the, the little quarter top that we see giving a slight feel of luxury, mm -hmm. the right size windows. Let's take a look at the front, shall we? And that was kind of the thing with these cars, and I think across... That was standard? GM's, that was not standard, that is an option. They actually have a little fiber optic uh, that goes up through there, so when you turn on your blinkers, you know if your blinkers are on. Got it. All right. So this car actually was not restored. This is a survivor car. What? Yes, it is. It's only got 64,000 original miles on it. Your brother did not restore this one? He did one? not restore this one. <laughs> so this car was purchased new. Uh, I bought it from the estate of the woman that had bought it new. Uh, we got to deal with her daughter, and she remembers back in 1978, riding in her mom's 1966 Mustang to the Buick dealership, and uh, her mom fell in love with this car and just loved this car to death. That's for his, sure. His entire life and took care of it like like nobody's business. Okay, I like the surprise, but you got me on that one. I for sure thought this was restored. Let's not. let's uh, open up the trunk, shall sure, we? Sure. Wow. So I think I was telling you earlier. I had seen this car. It came up for sale on eBay, and well, I, you got me on this one. I I thought for sure, <laughs> and I'm standing next to it, and I'm going. This car has been redone. Yeah. I was looking at it and I, I thought, wow, that's a, boy, that's a pretty car. And I, I turned my monitor on my laptop over to my wife and I said, look at this Regal. Tell me this story. Go ahead. You've <laughs> already she, got me one time. And she saw the car and looked at it from her chair and she said, that car is gorgeous. Buy it. Your wife gave you the nod. She did. She said, buy that car. I love it. So, so, so then you had to hesitate, right? You oh yeah, sleep on it yeah. I tried about to, three I, seconds. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> I, I tried to be the voice of reason. Honey, we can't, we can't be spending money on cars. Yeah, but uh, that, yeah, I was the voice of reason. <laughs> All right, dear, it's your decision. Yeah, that's okay, right. yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just for you. If I have to, yeah. I'll buy another car. And this must have been factory. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So the car is interesting in the fact that it's a sport coupe option, it also has the turbo option, and it has the limited option. So they, they had thrown an awful lot at, at this car. So I can see why the lady in 78 uh, just fell in love with this thing. It's, it's, it, it's just an absolute dream to drive this car. 
Now, how did how did you get connected with with Buicks? How did that all start? Uh, my father always had Buicks. So that was it. I, the first Buick that I remember as a kid, he had a 1966 uh, Buick Electra 225, and uh, I think his next car after that was a 70 Electra 225, and he he just always had Buicks. And so uh, my bro older brother, um, once he started buying cars, he started buying. Buicks, and of course at that time he was buying Buick Grand Sports because he wanted the performance versions of the car. So I see the turbo 3 liter there. And actually that turbo 3 8, there, there's something that ties in on the rear of this car that's a little unusual and cool. Let's, uh, let's show that, that what you want to share with me here. So 1978 would have been the first year for the turbo cars, but I noticed that the uh, emblem, the dealer emblem on here, actually has the V6 power oh, arrow on it and it's got the free spirit bird on it so uh, Buick was obviously really pushing the the turbocharging at that time and it's it's even on the uh, the dealer emblem and this might have been you were sharing a show car we're going to show this so here's a magnet as you can hear like so but notice it doesn't do that at all correct so the trunk lids and uh, the supports for the front and rear uh, bumpers on these cars were aluminum. And they had done that because they were putting so many luxury items on some of these cars that they were getting too heavy for their classifications. And so to lighten the cars up, they would use aluminum parts. Wow, okay, did not know that. Okay, let's take a look under the hood. So potentially a show car because with all the options. Potentially a show car. Uh, we had somebody that is a, quite an expert on Buicks and was showing them this car and the one thing that he picked up right away on was this sticker. And he said he's big into turbo cars, especially of this era, and he's never seen anything like this before. And so the thought was that it was potentially maybe a show car that was used in maybe a regional auto show and that would have been drawing attention to the turbocharging um, for how heavily optioned this car is too. That kind of led him to believe that perhaps this was used on some sort of a, a show car circuit. And that looks actually, it's obviously cut out because of this. Just fit, yep. To fit the turbo. And it's interesting, on the Regals uh, and also on the Centuries, they have the bulge hood. And they actually ha had to do that. It wasn't just so much to look sporty, although it does. But it was to fit the uh, the uh, air cleaner unit for the, the turbos. But with Sabres, which were a bigger car, and uh, I even believe the Rivieras, they didn't have to do that because they had enough room. But that was definitely a functional item to get that bulge in the hood. Wow. There is not a lot of room under there. There, there is not. That is really, that, that says 78, doesn't it? There's a lot of plumbing going on under Man, there, that's that for is, sure. That's a lot. <laughs> All right, let's fire it, shall we? That was always a complaint that people had with the 231 V6. They were they were very they had a very rough idle to them. They were very shaky because of being an odd fire. By 78, they had gone to an even fire. Listen to it idle. Sounds like it's got a little high. Let's give it a little kick down. Sure. There we go. on those uh, tail lights. Wonderful. Well, come on out, let's shut that down. Boy, look at all the cush and comfort. <laughs> 
And I have to say, when I was inside your car, it is super comfy. Oh, it's seat. just, I love driving this car around. I just, you know, it's funny, when you drive this car, I've, I've made the comment to many people, this is what new cars should ride like. It's it's so comfortable and soft. It, it's wonderful. I love driving yeah, it. Yeah, it is really, really well done. Yeah. Well, we'll close this up. If people like what they see, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell if you like this Buick Regal 3.8 Turbo. Uh, put a like button up on that one, a thumbs up. Stay so much fun. Always fun to hang out with you and see some cool Buicks. Thanks for being on the channel. All right, thank you, Lou.